I think one of the coolest things we've done in class lately are these 3D cardboard mazes. Uh, so it's a marble maze. So you set it up and you can uh, try to get a marble through it. Uh, if you look at this video, you see the, the person that did this one really only has three parts. Let me see if I can stop it at a better spot. There are only three real pieces to this, which makes it a lot easier. I've seen some people try to design it with all kinds of different rectangles and they're not connected. And then trying to put it together would just, just really be a logistics nightmare trying to get everything even. So uh, the one in this video has three separate parts. Uh, and it's got a really good outline. So how do you do that? Um, in Illustrator, we're going to go in and we're going to create an artboard that's the size of our laser cutter. Our laser cutter is 24 by 12. So we've got that set up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just create a square. And this is going to be my outline. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 10 by 10. Uh, that's just a good workable size so that I can get uh, multiple uh, pieces on one piece of cardboard and to be honest 10 by 10 fits in people's hands and it's it's a little more maneuverable than something larger uh, from here I want to create this this whole outline first so I'm going to duplicate uh, that's a little plus sign I don't think you, you maybe didn't see that but from duplicate I'm going to then change you can't really tell that there's two squares there but once I change the size I have two squares I'm going to group these. Ooh, I used the wrong tool there. Let me go to my move tool. I'm going to highlight both of those and I'm going to group them. Group is in your toolbar. It's got the, it's got a little square and a picture of two different things. So you can see that change. So that's group and ungroup. So now those are grouped and I know they're grouped because I move them around. So this will be the outline and this is what's going to hold our whole maze together and make it fairly easy to, to build. Uh, and it'll make it a little more sturdy and last a little longer. All right, the first thing I'll do is create an opening for the marble to go in. So I'm just going to create another rectangle. The width of that is fairly important. It needs to be wider than a marble. Uh, one inch, I think, is, is pretty good, so we'll leave it like that. Um, the height of it doesn't really matter because all I'm really trying to do right now is to cut an opening uh, in, my, in my outside perimeter. If I go and get my move tool and I hold... I think you can see this on the video. If I hold down on my little circle, that's like holding shift. Now I select both parts. So I select a little rectangle and the big square. And I go over to my combine tool. And if I say minus front, the smaller rectangles in the front. So if I say minus front, I just cut a hold out. All right, let me do, I, wanna, I want this uh, to have this really cool, I guess, choice when it first starts. So I want my marble to come in, and then I want it to go one way or the other. I'm just going to kind of put it in here. I'm going to get my move tool again and kind of get it centered. If I just start cutting this out, I'd have to layer that a bunch of times, and it's just, it's just hard to do. So I want to try every part of my maze. I want to try to connect it to the outside perimeter. So from this one, I'm going to do another rectangle and go here. And now, again, if I select multiple, I can group those if I want or combine them. So I'll just show you combining. So now that's really one different shape. If I connect that or combine that with the perimeter, now I'm really starting to create a maze. So you can picture, you know, the ball. The ball would kind of come in here and it moved down. And there's a choice where it'd go one way or the other and it may fall down in here. All right. If I'm going to keep going, uh, I want it once it comes down over here, let me change back to my rectangle. I want it to come in and then I want it to have an opportunity to fall way down. So I can highlight that and select both of those and I can combine those. I didn't get it. So there's that one and that one. Combine, I love Illustrator on the iPad. Gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. All right, so now that's combined. All right, and I'm just going to keep, keep doing this, and I want to try to limit my parts 
to as few as possible. I guess I need an exit. So I'll go ahead and create the exit here too before I stop the tutorial. Change over to my move tool. And that's another minus front. And that'll create kind of an exit. So I just keep going and I uh, keep creating. Uh, eventually, we I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, the last stages are, are going to be to select everything. And we want to make sure there's no fill. Black for the stroke. And I want to make sure that this is 0 0.01 points. I leave it bigger for the start uh, just so it's easier to see. But once we change it to 0 0.01 points, uh, this is what the laser cutter is going to want uh, so that it can cut it out. And then we're going to export it as a PDF document. And that PDF document will be opened in Acrobat Reader and we can print to the laser printer uh, right from that PDF and everything should work. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure, you know, put in the comments if you have some ones that you've done and some cool designs and uh, have fun.